But for now, let's get more on the humanitarian situation in the Enclave and talk to Tommaso Della Longa, who is from the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies. Uh, good to see you again, Tommaso. So uh, we've heard from the WHO uh, saying that access to medical services in Gaza continues to deteriorate. Uh, doctors, patients fleeing hospitals because of the fighting. Uh, give us a sense uh, of the situation there. Thanks for having me again today. The, the humanitarian situation in Gaza is beyond catastrophic, I would say. I, sincerely speaking, I don't have any more words to describe uh, the terrible situation that people in Gaza have to face every day. We are talking about a situation where the health system is almost collapsed, doesn't, mainly doesn't exist in the north, uh, barely exists in the south, and uh, even our hospital, uh, Alamal in Canunis, was uh, targeted uh, last week and uh, after uh, three times and then uh, there were several wounded uh, uh, several people killed uh, so there is an issue of safety there is an issue of lack of medicine lack of fuel lack of food uh, so the situation is really complicated so the u.s secretary of state uh, says that israel's agreed on a plan for a u.n mission in northern gaza will this help well, of course, uh, every every mission uh, uh, like this one could help also to have a, a clear idea on the situation in the north, also because we need to remember that the north is almost unreachable since many weeks now. So there are hundreds of thousands of people that are living with mainly anything, with no humanitarian aid, with no health, with no food, with no water. So, of course, this kind of mission are very important to make an assessment, and uh, we hope that it's a first step to go back and see how we can help the people in the north of Gaza. So we know that people in Gaza are facing uh, food shortages. Uh, there have been warnings of the prospect of famine. What do aid organizations need to help uh, try and tackle this? Well, first of all, we need safety. If safety and respect and protection, first and foremost for civilians, but then also for health care workers, health care facility ambulances, uh, uh, humanitarian convoys. Second, uh, we need to have uh, safe access everywhere, including the north of Gaza. Third, we need to have a continuous flow of humanitarian aid entering the Gaza Strip. Sadly, at the moment, no one of us is able to give a proper dignified humanitarian answer, even if, of course, the Palestinian Crescent colleagues are doing their utmost, but with limited capacity in a very difficult situation. So, a much more humanitarian aid, safety and safe and indirect access. And we know lots of people have been displaced. Uh, the UN reporting that people crowded into tents in parts of Gaza with 15 per people per tent, which breaches uh, space standards, if you like. Uh, what kind of effect uh, does this kind of overcrowding and poor conditions have? Well, the reality, I mean, first, first of all, let me remind that there is not really a safe place in Gaza, and this is really concerning and not acceptable. So people are displaced many times, not just once, probably three, four, five times in the last months. And then second, of course, overcrowded space means uh, lack of uh, uh, drinking water, uh, uh, lack of health, uh, lack of food. So also pro possible respiratory diseases, uh, spreading of diseases. And this, of course, uh, it's really concerning. Tommaso, good to talk to you. Thank you very much for joining us. That is Tommaso Della Longa from the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies. Thank you.